It's a hot summer day in the foothills of the Santa Lucia Mountains here in California's Carmel Valley. This is their habitat. Wildlife veterinarians are on the lookout for snakes. And we're looking for snakes to uh, do health assessments and test for an emerging fungal disease called snake fungal disease. Dr. Matt Allender is a clinical veterinarian with the Chicago Zoological Society and director of the University of Illinois' Wildlife Epidemiology Lab. Snake fungal disease, we initially diagnosed it in a snake in 2009 in Illinois, and since that point it's been found in over 35 states in the U.S. And right now, California is right on the front lines of where that emergence is, is occurring. With many snake populations already in decline, scientists worry the disease could wipe out certain species in some locations entirely. Things like rattlesnakes, things like water snakes are much more susceptible, and those animals are highly endangered in certain areas of the range. It can be highly fatal, up to 90% in certain rattlesnake populations. The disease itself manifests as skin lesions that are spread by contaminated habitats or direct contact swelling of the head that was really disfiguring um, to the point where the fungus would invade the eye and we'd start to get granulomas and, and, and white cheesy material. No sticks on that cover board. Allender is now working with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife who began monitoring the disease after a case was discovered here in 2019. We got really concerned because it was a California king snake. It did, did not look good. Dr. Deanna Clifford, senior veterinarian at the Wildlife Health Lab with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, says so far the state has seen two confirmed cases. We're feeling better about our situation, but we're at that beginning stage of characterizing the disease. Where is it? Who is infected? And how many animals are infected? We found a snake earlier today. It was too fast for us. It was kind of warm. For the last year, Raquel Elander with the state's Wildlife Health Lab has been trekking through the state, collecting samples. I'll uh, do a physical examination, so I'll examine it for any lesions that might be associated with, you know, health issues, um, and I'll take a swab sample. Allender says while there is no threat to domestic pets, snakes play a key role to the biodiversity of an ecosystem. They have human health benefits in that snakes can take out um, a rodent population that can support up to 3,400 ticks in a year, which reduces the tick-borne diseases. It's why he says the work they're doing here in the foothills is so pressing. So trying to find ways in order to identify that fungus so that we can go in and intervene and, and save this biodiversity is, is critically important. Reporting from Carmel, California, I'm Usher Qureshi.